Hi everyone, I was just playing with the chat GPT and wanted to explore a couple of features with you. Maybe I will use its APIs to build my future applications. Here, let's see, let's ask some smart questions to the chat GPT. How can I build Uber Eats clone? Okay, this is a simple question. Maybe let's see what uh, chat gpt is asking uh, telling us conduct market research okay define features based on the market research and all i mean it's all about okay choosing the how you approach building the uber eats clone or swiggy clone <laughs> application let's ask some other question build swiggy clone app okay building a swiggy clone involves platform okay what all things we need I was thinking about some technical implementation so essential includes a customer order restaurant receive orders it's like some generic because we are not asking chat GPT to write the code it's all about what all different features what are the different requirements all the different like delivery system uh, authentication system all these things you need to build let's ask uh, let's say uh, node GS code for reading s3 bucket right so now it should send us some code right and i i i've been just exploring uh, chat gpt from some time and i'm using it even for getting the code snippet sometimes like even like if you do the stack overflow search to just get some code instead of that you can use chat gpt and it gives you really smart answers i was sometimes impressed with the the answers which i'm getting obviously this answer it is giving from some documentation which is available online okay <clears throat> let's say write data to to dynamo db from node.js apis okay so these are like some code snippets but it's really helpful like how to read and write to the dynamo db this is a simple question it is it has initialized aws config and then dynamo db and then here we are just create, passing the table and then doing the put uh, item call just to write the data to the DynamoDB and here you need to pass the AWS region to get the DynamoDB client from AWS SDK okay so I will just say build CRUD APIs using NestJS we do lot, lots of NestJS API building right so here what it needs to be done we you need a nsgs cli then generate a simple app and then uh, you will get this particular module name it's like a generic answer i'm not Im highly impressed it's all about okay he just uh, creating a simple crud which is already there somewhere in the documentation but you can ask a smart question like okay build nest js five filter to filter exceptions so stop generating and let's ask this so okay we need to build a simple filter exception okay this is using some uh, pipe and what this pipe is doing yeah this is nice what it is doing is it is filtering all the exceptions and for each and every exceptions we can send a custom messages okay you can see we are sending bad request if uh, constructor dot names 500 requests so this is like a custom interceptor custom filter we have created in the nest gs i mean i didn't create uh, this chat gpt has created for us and i can just copy and paste it and i can just use it this is how you will use this uh, filter we have added you can add it in the app module also in the main.ts like app dot uh, use global okay now let's say create auth middleware in nestjs for routes so here i'm asking okay create me auth middleware auth middleware will validate maybe a gwt token and for a particular routes and if the everything is good then only it will forward the request so auth middleware it needs to have a use method and here because we need to replace our authentication logic so it's smart enough how to write this here we will write a validation token validation mechanism and this is how you will integrate this uh, middleware in the code so what is the summary you don't need my channel you need chat gpt to <laughs> google out things and just use it by yourself okay let's say 
validate payload using class validator i didn't specify nest.js or express let's see what it does but it's by default taking nest.js for validation and here what how we do it we create a simple class right class is a simple dto and that dto will validate okay these are the this is the payload and this is how i'm going to validate so here we are using is email is string is defined these annotations based on that your payload will be validated and this is how you just need to add a validation pipe either at the controller level or at the uh, particular method level new validation pipe this is the dto and this is how we will be able to validate the simple nest.js payload okay uh, build kafka microservice let's see what it does is it picking the nest.js microservice or simple node.js so we are going to build a kafka consumer right we can get a kafka client from the kafka node we can also use a kafka js instead of kafka node and it is just a simple consumer right and you you will write a simple main.ts this is a consumer and this is a producer producer is consuming from this test topic and this is your producer producer is actually producing the message using producer.send and then producer dot on error you just send a callback and then you can attach this to your main.ts here this is a smart nest.js microservice that's uh, the what i was not expecting but yeah that's good so it is creating a simple nest.js microservice and here we are passing kafka client and then starting the simple service and we are creating a nest.js uh, kafka listener i mean one is a nest.js microservice and then there is a producer client for the nest.js oh really impressive now let's uh, ask some questions write data to write lambda lambda handler lambda to listen messages from dynamo db stream <laughs> <coughs> okay these are the things which we do daily like uh, there is a dynamodb stream i want to write a lambda trigger which will listen to all the the stream messages stream events are coming from the lambda let's say you do lambda read write so there is a lambda trigger so whenever the write happens we are going to invoke aws is going to invoke that lambda so this is like handler for all the records we are just going to print that right so this is a simple lambda handler you can deploy and you can test it uh this is a simple resource configuration right event dot records contains the multiple records and this is the dynamo db stream records now you need to know okay what is the content of dynamo db stream record explain more on dynamo db dynamo db so let's uh, build our answers questions on top of that so what is the content of dynamo db stream okay i want to see the json object event dot records contains the area of dynamo db record which includes the item itself okay i mean uh, really impressive okay this is what i need these are the, the properties which you get in the dynamo db stream right now i will stop it at dlq for sqs lambda handler right i'm adding dead letter q uh, for the sqs let's say if i'm not able to train the message then it's a D dlq should be able to process that message so let's see what it does to add a dlq what you need to do create a sqs queue and then i mean you need to go to SQ, uh, aws console and configure dlq and i will stop here what i will do is create sqs and sns using aws sdk create sqs and sns using aws sdk i think i'm going to spend more time here because i really liking it like how we can create a simple not aws sdk it's aws cdk uh, i'm sorry for that we need to change our question aws cdk aws cdk is a cloud uh, uh, development kit that will help us to create aws resources so here you can see it is using aws cdk lib and it's very smart and here this is how we are creating a stack and then creating a simple queue 
and for creating sns we will just use sns.topic and then we can configure even topic.add subscription so whenever i mean sqs can send a message to the sns topic and then you can add a lambda trigger to the sns so here we will add a, another thing add a lambda trigger to sns topic aws cdk i mean these are code snippets but uh, there is no doubt it, this uh, chat gpt is very smart when it comes to the code because i was exploring it from couple of days and i'm getting a fascinating results i know these are some code snippets which are available in some blog or somewhere you can see it is adding the lambda and then it is create adding the lambda permissions and then it is i think i either add add subscription or add event source topic dot add subscription so whenever you send a message to the topic it this lambda will be triggered and we can add a simple lambda handler so this is how we are adding a permission lambda function dot add permission to invoke and we are passing the topic ERN and AWS CDK synth will synthesize it and CDK deploy will deploy this AWS CDK commands which I am not able to recall all the time CDK init, CDK deploy, CDK synth, CDK destroy <coughs> Okay, let's uh, ask some uh, more smarter questions and what I will do is what can be the complex question which I'm just thinking build APIs for Swiggy clone restaurant service Okay, it will just give us a simple implementation of some CRUD operation that is still good obviously i can't expect uh, this ai to build me a swiggy clone and build a restaurant service but yeah you can see it has connected a database and then it has created a restaurant schema which contains a state city j phone questions menu and then it is building these uh, apis app dot post restaurant it is creating a restaurant then app dot get restaurants it is giving me all the list of the restaurants and similarly get restaurant by id it's a simple crud operation which we have created i mean i didn't create chat gpt has done that and uh, let's say what else we can do i can spend more and more time here but this is really nice what it is doing so chat gpt is smart and you can use it for uh, i mean for taking help instead of uh, going to stake overflow and trying to find the implementation or going to some tutorial so maybe chat gpt is uh, taking away my youtube content also because nobody will be coming to my youtube channel to learn something they can learn it from here okay so let's see neo 4j data insert using node.js so there is a new 4 j is a graph database and we will see how we can just use a new 4 j to write APIs and insert the data there is a new 4 j driver you need to have a new 4 j graph database running somewhere and then you will just create a session and then just write a query it just only the, it has a smart query because this is a graph database and you can see we are passing params and then we are just initializing the sessions and for all the records we have we are just writing it okay so why i think i can stop here we will just try to analyze this chat gpt more in our future sessions but we have done a lot right and most of the answers were accurate i can uh, i'm using this chat gpt recently for writing the blogs getting the extracting the content from here and there and also taking the help for i mean i had people are using it to crack the interviews so let's say react lifecycle because it, it it will listen it will think and it will answer you properly so it just need to you just need to plug in some mechanism so that it can listen to your uh, questions i won't suggest you to use this but you can see it is giving you these answers uh, one by one uh, javascript uh, closers because sometimes this is the important questions which everybody asks right in javascript and somebody is reading in reading this message and answering it i mean the answer is correct 
whatever and he is cracking the interview okay okay i mean uh, let's ask some other complex questions uh, because i feel like i'm more addicted here javascript type inheritance so what is a prototypal inheritance this is a simple question right and sometimes and you will you would be thinking meanwhile you can get the snippet okay this is how you can in, you can implement the prototypal inheritance by just using classes because javascript is all about uh, functions now in es6 we have a classes that is doing a uh, inheritance by just doing extends but earlier we were writing functions and function prototypes okay so that's all i have you can just plug and play i will be building some uh, videos which talks about okay this is how you can use chat gpt apis and can build a smart applications